Here we go! All right, everyone, welcome to the 1UP XP show. Now, this week, I was sitting in the office fixing this week's show, and up and out of nowhere pops up this horror game. Now, I'm a huge fan of horror games, haven't played them as of late, but this one struck me as decent. Now, it's on the Xbox Game Pass, so which means it's free, it's free if you have the Xbox Game Pass. It's called Still Wakes the Deep. Um, it's set on an oil rig in the 1970s around Christmas time, just off the Scottish mainland. So we are going to give this a shot, play a little bit of it, show some of it to you, the gameplay, and see if it's the right game for you. So, let's jump in, shall we? I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place? Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Cars. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but. If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. Ooh. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need your Christmas card. <laughs> okay. So right off the rip, marriage on the rocks because I'm assigned to be on this oil rig. What I'm noticing is this is a lot like layers of fear. Whoa. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Whoops. What up, dogs? Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mare rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none of this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this oh, place... come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. I do. <laughs> McClary! To my office. That means no. Not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Don't be surprised, Kaz. We hear from Sue's. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Oh, All right, so... Leftovers. What we have gathered so far, I'm on an oil rig, wife wants a divorce, the oil rig's falling apart. I apparently beat some guy's head in, and the police? to be here for me. Hey, this one's all yours. All right, Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, trolls acting up this morning. So laying the groundwork for the story, what's going to go wrong? might be two, three weeks before it's shipped like. Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running, you said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Whoa. Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! I wanna die! I don't wanna die! Jesus, just hang on!
They just left me in here with a heater? I guess that's one way of warming me up. Oh, this is dark. Oh boy. I can't see a thing. Whoa! What the heck was that? Finally, something useful. Ah, flashlight. Put on my helmet, dog. It doesn't really help with anything. How do you turn it on? Ah. Drop, bud. Whoa. There's a door over there. Use lockers to hide? Oh, we just got straight outlasted.
So there you go. Uh, still Wakes the Deep. Free on the Xbox Game Pass. Check it out. If you're into any type of immersive horror games, this is one to definitely check out. We are going to play this some more, but my goodness gracious. That, that yeah. I got, I got chills. That's a good one. But coming up next, we're going to give you a look at the Xbox Showcase where they previewed all their games and latest hardware that will be coming out here a little bit later this year or next year. We'll have all those details right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP Show. Now, the Xbox Showcase happened just about two weeks ago, and they unveiled all the games that they have coming out here in the near future and next year for Bethesda as well as Blizzard, Xbox, and most of them, if not all of them, will be available day one on Game Pass, including the first game we're going to show you, which is the first time in its 20-plus year history, Call of Duty. Now, coming up this year is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And personally, I love the Black Ops line. It's my favorite line of all the Call of Duties, and this one looks to be a banger. Now, this year with Black Ops 6, they had a half hour special about everything that was going on in the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6. They revealed the campaign, the multiplayer, zombie details, and it's all official now. Now we're going back to the 1990s and it will be coming out on October 25th, but it's just stellar looking as the last few Call of Duties have been with their newer engine. But uh, the new campaign of Black Ops 6 looks absolutely phenomenal. And they have new innovations like Omni Movement, giving players the ability to sprint, slide, and dive in any direction and move like a Black Ops action hero across all game modes, including zombies and multiplayer. So Black Ops 6 launches on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC on October 25th. And like I mentioned before, you can play it day one on the Xbox Game Pass, including Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, Game Pass PC, and Game Pass Console. Now, next was a title that actually I was very excited for when I saw this. I did not realize they were going to show this, but Doom The Dark Ages is coming to Xbox next year. So Doom is a game that I played as a kid back in the mid to late 90s, and it was just a shooter, gory, bloody game, but it was a lot of fun in the fact that you could just let loose. Now, this all comes out next year, and will be on the Xbox Game Pass uh, for the Xbox Series X, S, and PC. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Happy to see that in their announcements. Now next up, we got a look into State of Decay 3. Now I haven't played much of the State of Decay lines. Years into the apocalypse with the evolving zombie threat taking over the landscape, you might fight back and reclaim lost ground, carving out a life of your community of survivalist homesteaders. Um, so it's really brutal combat, cooperative, battling back threats to survive uh, the just apocalyptic zombie world. Next up, uh, one that people were very happy to see as it will be coming out in fall of 2024, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. Um, again, another line of games that I'm not super familiar with, but it looks like this new trailer and meeting the Veil Guard for the first time, man, they have a lot planned. So that's, I mean, if you want more from Dragon Age, say no more. This will be coming out in the fall of this year. But this is Expedition 33. So they finally gave us a reveal trailer. It's, find, you find yourself as a member of the Expeditioners who are embarking on an impossible quest to end the painterous cycle of death. You'll journey through a vast, beautiful fantasy world where you'll battle deadly adversaries, befriended fabled creatures, and discover traces of those who came before. Now, this will be coming out later, but again, this is the reveal trailer for it, and it looks absolutely phenomenal, absolutely gorgeous, but it will be coming out later on Xbox. Our Expedition 33. Now, next up is another game that we got a hint at last year. It's called South of Midnight. The trailer offers a look at combat traversal showing off Hazel's magical weaving powers and gives us a taste of the game's darkly gorgeous Deep South setting, as mentioned. So we will uh, definitely be seeing this, you know, a little bit later for Xbox, but man, what an absolutely stellar game and cannot wait to play that one when it comes out next year. And then we get 
a look at something they have been teasing for a while, but this made me goosebump a little bit because this game was one of the very first games I have ever played on PlayStation. It's Metal Gear Solid, and we are getting a kind of prequel to the Metal Gear Solid franchise with Snake Eater. So it's definitely going to be one of those games that really pulls on the old nostalgia strings, if you will. But this looks phenomenal, and I cannot wait to play this when it comes out. Now, next up is another one that they, again, are pulling the nostalgia strings on. Perfect Dark. Now, Perfect Dark, again, another game that I played as a kid. This was the first look at gameplay in the new trailer, and let me tell you, it looks phenomenal. So, the new trailer showed us Joanna's descent into the game's Carol setting, offered, offered us a glimpse at the mysteries behind the near-future ecological sci-fi story, and introduced us to a game that blends fluid traversal, gadgets, close quarters combat, gunplay, stealth, and more to create the ultimate secret agent experience. Like I said, again, this is a game that just pulls on those nostalgia strings because this was one that we got way back in the day. It was one of the very first first-person shooters, and I cannot wait to play this one as well. Um, next up, another game that people were super happy to see. Uh, again, we got teased with it last year, but now we got more into it. Fable, and this is the next installment into the Fable life, but Eidos Montreal will be supporting the ongoing development of Fable in the future, which will be coming will be coming to players in 2025. So this game, again, for all those Fable, lo Fable lovers out there, looks absolutely breathtaking and phenomenal. Cannot wait to see where this line goes. Now, don't go anywhere, because coming up next, we're going to show you the rest of the Xbox Showcase. Stay with us. Now, next up is Flight Sim. Now, we've played Flight Sim in the past, but they have a new iteration coming out for 2024, and they have some new mechanics to it that allow you to really simulate the game. Yes, they have commercial flight, but now you can advertise, you can do hot air balloons, you can do medical missions, like it's all over the place, but it looks so good. And I cannot wait to sit down with my throttle and yoke and play this as it looks phenomenal. So Flight Sim 2024 will be coming out uh, a little bit later this year in, in November. Next up, we got a very long trailer for a game that everybody has been kind of itching to find out more about, and that's Indiana Jones. So we get our first look into Lucas's, Lucasfilm Games um, and their iteration of Indiana Jones, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. The cinematics, it looks like it's right from the movie theater screen to your TV, and you're playing it. So I'm really intrigued on the mechanics, how the storyline's gonna go, and what we'll get from this game. But it does look absolutely beautiful. And, and it will be launching later this year, and it will be day one on Game Pass for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. So play, uh, or check out Indiana Jones and the Great Circle later this year. Now this next game, I put in here because it does intrigue me a little bit. Um, the graphics, Everything associated with it kind of harkens back to kind of the 50s. And then you mix in a mech and you mix in a little bit of futuristic stuff and it looks rather interesting. So this game's called Atom Fall. We'll be launching in 2025 on Game Pass on day one. Uh, it'll be available on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and PC. Now next is the next installment for Assassin's Creed and this looks absolutely breathtaking. The visuals as well as just the history behind where we're heading. So this next take on Assassin's Creed is called Assassin's Creed Shadows, which launches November 15th for Xbox Series X S. This gameplay trailer gave their fans the glimpse into the new Assassin's Creed that we saw how the two protagonists, Yusuke and Neo, will differ and complement one another in November, Gears of War. Now, this game looks stellar as Gears of War always has is Gears of War E-Day. It is the next mainline game in the Gears of War universe set during the pivotal Emergence Day. The trailer made its debut in 4K resolution and 30 frames per second with 5.1 stereo sound. These specs optimized for streaming do not represent the final game's performance, however, but we will get more on this game as time moves on. But man, talk about a way to kind of wrap up the Xbox game series or the Xbox game showcase 
with one of your biggest games coming in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed a lot of the Xbox showcase, but there are so many titles in here that have me and Clam excited. And we've really talked about this where we think we see an end to kind of what has been the down period of video games. Now you have to remember back to the pandemic, several years later, we are still in the lull because a lot of studios weren't necessarily working at full force or might not have been working at all. Now we are back into full force and over the next few years, you're gonna see some major titles released, whether it's new, whether it's more foundation on what they've already laid or they're tugging on nostalgia back from when I was a kid. And we're seeing that in full force with Xbox. And we still have Nintendo, PlayStation and PC to look at their games. So we're super excited for the future of the games coming out. But if you want to check out any of these titles, all the information will be down below. And also don't forget to check out the Xbox Game Showcase because there are some games that we didn't showcase here. There's just so much to see. It was an hour and a half showcase. I can only break it down into about 10 minutes. But we'll be right back with one last segment here on the 1UP XP Show. Don't go anywhere. And that does it for this week's episode of the 1UP XP Show. Be good, stay safe, take care. We'll see you all next week. Here we go!